Ormond Jane Kenger has amazing reviews and some even compare its dry down to that of Baccarat Rouge 540s. Is this perfume just something you were missing in your collection? Is it a safe blind buy and how does it smell? Watch until the end and you will find out. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My nickname is Miri and if you are a returning subscriber, it's so nice to see you again. So let's start with the review, but first just something short about its inspiration. Inspiration. La Haute de la Soie, a perfume collection Ormond Jane has created to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the brand, is inspired by the ancient Silk Road that connected Western and Eastern culture. And this perfume is part of that collection and it is named by the city where secondary trading route of the Silk Road was passing and that is Moroccan city of Tanger in the North Africa. And the inspiration for this perfume were oranges, and their fragrant flavor together with the beauty of North Africa. How Tanger smells? Well, upon the initial spray, you got a lot of citruses mixed with the floral aroma of Ylang Ylang that adds creamy, honey-like, slightly spicy and powdery component. And all the citruses are zesty, juicy and crisp. Ylang Ylang rounds off the edges so smoothly and therefore the opening is bright and vibrant but also it offers a warm and sunny feeling. The opening smells to me like somebody mixed fresh mandarins and a sweet but spiced custard blend. And few minutes later, Neroli becomes the most prominent note with woody, ambery and floral accords. Yes, you can still smell citruses, but Neroli is dominant with a clean, slightly bitter aroma that is on the borderline between soapiness and perfuminess. And although Tanger doesn't smell, well, extremely complex and you got like a citrusy woody Neroli in the heart, it's quite hard to describe the scent in just one image, but the closest thing to this is the scent of mandarins mixed with tea. And this doesn't smell like the scent of freshly brewed tea that is steaming, but rather like a scent of tea leaves in the tea bag. So imagine you're dipping Earl Grey tea bag into honeyed orange juice. This is how tender heart smells to me. It's fresh, it's citrusy, it's slightly floral and bitter, but sweet and ambery as well. And in the dry down, tender becomes a bit aromatic because of the woodiness and moss that give off like a driftwood like a cool while well, the ember gives a lot of warmth and depth, but the scent still remains bright and sunny. Vanilla here is quite soft and faint, and it gives like a sweet sparkling to the other notes, and there is something honey-like accord noticeable in the heart and the dry down of this perfume. The enter just becomes a sweet orange woody amber, similar to a scent of creamy custard with candied oranges on the driftwood plate. So nothing here smells green, tangy or sour and everything is beautifully blended but with a good dose of juicy citrusy sparkliness. Imagine you traveled to the city of Tanger in Morocco. It's summer morning and you can smell a fresh fresh oranges on the streets with the scent of flowers and orange trees growing nearby and the warmth of the air and sand is mixed into this like embery fragrant concoction. This is the scent of a sunny day in a Moroccan exotic decadent city port waiting to be discovered. So the scent of Tanger is beautiful and amazing choice especially for summer but you could wear it even in the spring and autumn and it gives you like a surge of positive energy. Somehow it manages to stay fresh but sweet uplifting but relaxing, cheerful but sexy, nothing groundbreaking but intoxicating and this would be like an ideal gym perfume precisely because of that energizing good vibes only quality but amber and other notes make it sophisticated as well and elegant so this could be an office or any daytime occasion perfume as well. Therefore Tanger feels sunny, joyful and warm. It feels like gold glistening on a warm summer day. 
but honestly I don't see how Tanger is comparable to Baccarat Rouge 540 other than the shared warm sweetness in the dry down but so many perfumes are warm and sweet so I don't really see the comparison. The only thing that is similar to me is that I go nose blind to Tanger in the dry down the same way I go nose blind to Baccarat Rouge 540. I'm not sure why but I just can't smell it on my skin after half an hour although others can truly smell it on me. Therefore I had to spray the pillow and then leave the room and come back every 15 minutes to sniff the pillow so I can accurately describe how Tanger smells. I do enjoy it but I'm not wowed by it and since I go nose blind to it my rating for its scent profile is 7 out of 10. I can't objectively tell you how this performs on my skin but on that pillow the scent passed the overnight test. The lasting power was quite impressive for a fresh citrusy perfume that usually don't last but it lasted 8 plus hours on that pillow on clothes but the projection and silage wasn't beast mode like at all. It was like soft to moderate and for first half an hour on my skin while it was still noticeable Tanger wears very close to the skin but it lasts so my rating for its performance is 7 out of 10 as well. If this review was descriptive and helpful so far like this video and subscribe that is an important feedback to me but also it helps to spread this review with more people. And if you had a chance to try Tanger out, let me know what you think of it in the comments and do you go nose blind to it as well? But what should you be aware of before purchasing Ormond Jane's Tanger? The first negative point is that Tanger changes depending on your skin chemistry and it can go in two different directions on some. This becomes a clean, soapy, sparkling citrusy perfume, but on my skin it develops into a sweeter, ambery, orange scent with some aromatic and woody hues. You might expect this will be very sweet and ambery on your skin and then it turns into a soapy, citrusy perfume. So you must check it out first and try it out on your skin and see is this something you will enjoy. And the second negative point is the nosmic effect. As I've mentioned, I go nose blind to it so just be aware of that possibility that you might not be able to smell it throughout the wear and now to positive points first one is that this is an uplifting perfume I'm sure it will give you a lot of positive energy while you wear it and it will make you smile it's so bright and it will put you just in a good mood and the second positive point is that this is perfectly unisex fragrance it doesn't lean feminine nor masculine in my opinion it could be worn by either gender and it would smell amazing both on women and on a man. Therefore, if you like ambery, citrusy floral perfumes, try out Ormond Jane's Tanger. I'm sure you will like it. Since I go nose blind to it, this won't be staying in my collection, but it is beautiful. And although we don't vibe because I can't smell it on myself, I do recommend absolutely to check it out on yourself. And I do think that most people, like 90% of people, will like this scent. Regardless, does it turn into a clean citrusy or into a much warmer, sweeter, ambery scent on their skin. So yes, I do think this would be a good gift idea and I can't see how anyone could be offended while you're wearing Tanger. And my mom complimented me on this fragrance even though currently it's winter. This is a scent that just makes you crave summer and leisurely exploring exotic destinations so I'm sure it will get you compliments. So three words I would describe it with would be orange tea custard and my overall rating for the scent profile and performance is 7 out of 10. Do you enjoy fresh citrusy perfumes? Let me know what other fragrances put you in a good mood just like Tanger does. Let me know in the comments and if you want to see a review of another bright and happy perfume of Chanel Chance Eau Tendre, and this is one of my first reviews I've made then check out this video. I will see you there. Bye!